Well, that tells us all we need to know about today's weather forecast. If the cats are sharing a box, it's cold out. Well, yes, it's cold enough that the snow has survived on my neighbour's outbuilding. I think that's about the last place we've got any. And it's a sort of grey sort of day. So we're going to do some thinking this morning before I do any working. I've got a major um, scheme of, of, of how to save the planet which I'm going to put into effect now. Let's see if I can zoom on those. As filming goes, that was not the most successful, was it? Um, cranes. And interestingly, here in France, they are known as grue. Uh, you know, simply the French word for crane. And in the mornings, they seem to fly about and find a field to go and find food in. And they will be thinking about when it is that they're going to go back to I've I've looked at the the maps of these things apparently they do come all the way from Siberia and then in summer they go back to Siberia but at the moment they can be seen in fields here and if you had a proper cameraman you'd have got a better shot of them but there we are that was some cranes anyway yes back to the project i don't know how many of you go to church on a sunday and of those of you that do i don't know how many of you stay awake while the minister is preaching but there's there's parts of the service that sort of stick in your mind, isn't there? You know, and the bit that keeps going through my mind at the moment is that wonderful phrase, my peas I give you, my peas I leave you. Show each other a sign of peas. So we're going to be thinking about how to make peas on earth. So let's start thinking about the Faber Farm Pea Project to create a lot of peas on earth. Yeah, it was a terrible joke, wasn't it? Let there be peas on earth and let it begin with me. Uh, how do we start? Well, not a bad idea. To get some seed. Now of course jokes in French don't work because if I said uh, we need lots of pay on earth, you know, peace in French, and try and juxtapose that over that word poix doesn't work does it? So we'll go with the English joke of peas on earth. Uh, these are a good start of pea, an early precoce with lovely white flowers and it tells us that je sème février à avril you plant them February to April and you should be able to eat them 10 to 14 weeks later and they will grow 80 centimetres high and yeah you can you can cook them it suggests that you should get six kilos of peas from this packet well i doubt if i shall get that but it also warns us that there's enough seed in this box 
for 20 meters. Now, a very good friend of mine says that her grandfather, who lived close to Boulogne sur Mer, said that you plant peas on the 2nd of February. Hmm. Okay. She also laughed and said, and later. But apparently her grandfather treated this as uh, almost a command that you must plant your peas on the 2nd of February. So, we're ready with the seed. Just for good measure, we've got another box for another 20 metres, which should give us 5 kilos of petit pois. Mervais de Calverdon. Now, I got these out of interest because, of course, I know this seed. Only we in England wouldn't call it Mervais de Calverdon. We would call it Calverdon Wonder. And Calverdon is a little town in Essex. So I thought, yep, 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 we'll go with that. And the box apparently is easy to open. Hmm, we'll discover that later. Anyway, where do we start with this? Well, we start by digging some ground. Uh, I really should be doing that this week, but it's a bit boggy and cold and, well, we'll see. We might, we might dig some ground. And then you create trenches uh, to put your peas in and you can start them in pots and transplant them but if you're planting 20 meters or 40 meters of peas you want to put them straight in the ground and 10 to 14 days later you'll get little plants start to push now that then creates interest in the neighborhood and peas are very very susceptible to problems with dicky birds that will come and will eat all of your peas and you won't have any so it is normal if you're growing peas, that you need to create some sort of tunnel. And you cover that with a net. If I've got to draw a net. Yeah, yeah, we'll have we'll have we'll have we'll have a net. That, that that net will stop the pigeons from getting at it and you can spend an awful lot of money on pea tunnels they sell them in the shops it will be cheaper to buy peas but there are other ways of doing this and that is going to be uh, what we're going to be looking at over the next 14 to 20 weeks. So, stay tuned. We will see if we can get some peas to eat this summer. And then, truly, we might have peas on earth.